So hi there guys. One of my students sent me this message on Skype. It says, Javen, I want to remember and use 3,000 common Oxford vocabularies. How can I study it fastest? So my student wants to expand his vocabulary. Learning 3,000 words will be a great addition to his existing vocabulary, which is very limited. This is very common among our learners from Asia. If you're one of them, you have learned very few vocabulary, so you cannot express your ideas clearly. It is hard for you to prolong your conversation with an English speaker. And it takes you so much time trying to figure out the right words to express your ideas. So I gave my students some advice on how he can expand his vocabulary to another 3,000 words. I told him, A, if you do it five words per day, that will take you a little more than one year and a half to learn all these 3,000 words and to remember them. B, if you do it eight words per day, that will take you a little more than one year. However, in order for you to remember a certain vocabulary, two factors are at play. One, exposure. Two, practice. So I told him the following. One, you should use it properly in your own speech. Two, you should visualize the meaning of that word and its substance. It's very important to visualize. It is easier for you to remember a certain word if you have a visual idea of its meaning and how it is used. Three, write it down on your notebook. It is easier to remember things when you've written them down. Four, read some text with that word from some book, magazine, or the internet. Browse Google and read some sentence or paragraph using that word. Five, hear others using that word, probably in a conversation or monologue. Now, you might think that eight words per day might be too much, but believe me, it can be done. This is how you do it. In the morning, shortly after you wake up, take four words from your dictionary. Write each of them on your notebook. Use each in your own sentence. Say it aloud so you can hear it. Here's another thing. Write your sentence down on your notebook. If possible, search Google for a sentence or a paragraph using this word. Read it so you can understand how it's used in a context. Then in the afternoon during your break time at work, do the same thing. Take four words from your dictionary, write them down on your notebook, use them in sentences, say them aloud, write your sentences on your notebook, and search the internet for some sentences or paragraphs using these words. Then my student sent me another message. He said, he wants to learn 30 words per day. He wants to try it. 30 words per day? That is too much. I don't advise it. You shouldn't try it. 30 words per day is too much. That will take you too much mental energy. That will get you frustrated in the long run. It won't give you your desired results. Now, how it is done exactly? When I was a child, I watched this 1991 film entitled Oscar. And here, the main character, who is a successful businessman, has a habit of learning one word per day. Think about it. If you learn at least one word per day, after one year, you should have learned 365 words which you can easily use in your own speech. One word per day is very easy to do. Now if you can make it three words per day, that would be great. I advise this student of mine to learn 
five to eight words per day because he really wants to learn 3,000 words the fastest way possible. He's rushing things. So with enough effort, he could do it. Without further ado, here are some scenes from the movie Oscar. Take note how the main character learns his word for the day and how he practices using it so he could remember it. You know what atrium means, Anthony? No, sir. It's a courtyard, oftentimes surrounded by columns. Thank you, sir. I didn't know that, sir. Park it, Anthony. I learn a new word every day. You should expand your vocabulary, Anthony, and you wouldn't just be a bookkeeper. Accountant, sir. My word for today is... expeditious. To be efficient and speedy. All right, Anthony, let's be expeditious. What's so important you got me up at eight? Well, Mr. Provolone, with all due respect, I've come to ask you for a raise. <laughs> Maybe my hearing ain't 2020 no more. What did he just ask me? He asked you for a raise. That's what I thought. Are you crazy? When you hear why, you believe this guy's moxie? He's got a chutzpah, boss. Don't call me boss. Sorry, boss. I know this wasn't the best day, sir. You're telling me? If everything goes well today... Knock on wood. I'll be a board of director. I know that, and, and I wouldn't bother you, but love makes us do strange things. What's love got to do with the price of beer? Lisa and Teresa take Thornton and Anthony to be your lawfully wedded husbands? I do. I do. If anyone among you has reasons to doubt that these unions should take place, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Who are you? I'm Oscar. Get rid of him. Expeditiously. You got it. No, we have his feet. Then I now pronounce you man and wife.